The first DVLA Phantom was one of those speakers that broke out of the hi-fi world and into mainstream tech culture. People were just stunned by its surreal shape, the way the side drivers moved, and how impossibly loud it played without completely falling apart. It racked up millions of views, endless reaction videos, and a reputation that stuck. The new Phantom Ultimate lineup takes that same DNA and makes it easier to live with and better to listen to every single day. Let's dive in and take a look at the two new models in this ultimate lineup. Now the first thing that people notice about the Phantom is the way it looks. It doesn't resemble a typical speaker and that structural shape is about more than just style. The round design reduces cabinet edge diffraction and actually helps the sound project into a wide even field across your room. Now the body combines an ABS outer shell with a glass fiber reinforced polycarbonate inner shell tied together by an aluminum spine that also helps pull the heat to the rear. Now because there aren't any flat panels, it keeps the resonance out of the mid-range so voices and instruments just sound cleaner and more natural. Now the Phantom Ultimate 108 dB is the larger model and has a three-way array with a new generation aluminum tweeter, mid drivers, and redesigned woofers by removing the dust cap for a cleaner look. But the bigger changes are actually under the surface. A new underhung motor and lower stiffness suspension let the cones travel farther without losing control, which actually helps the bass stay tuneful and precise even when the speaker is pushed really hard. It's rated at 14 hertz to 35 kilohertz with 1100 watts of power and a 108 dB peak. Now the cabinet measures about 10 by 9.7 by 13.5 inches and weighs 24 and a half pounds. Now the Phantom Ultimate 98 dB is the ultra compact model that uses a full range aluminum dome flanked by two aluminum woofers. It's rated at 18 hertz to 25 kilohertz with 400 watts of power and a peak level of 98 dB. It measures about 6.6 .6 by 6.2 by 8.6 inches and is about nine and a half pounds. In addition, the tweeter grill has also been redesigned with a higher open area ratio, which helps more high frequency energy come through. And it wasn't a quick change either. DVLA actually spent months testing and iterating to get the right balance between the looks and the acoustic transparency. Plus the overall silhouette has been subtly updated and even the smallest assembly details were reworked to make the shape feel more seamless and uninterrupted. They've also added touch capacitive buttons right on the top here that I really love that have play pause, Bluetooth pairing, and you can also skip your tracks. Now our early test samples came in a light pearl color, which is like a soft matte off-white tone that I just really love the look of in person. But they also do come in a deep forest, which is a dark green black that you can really only see the subtle green color when it's in a bright room. And of course, they also have their Opera de Paris edition, which has hand applied 22 karat moon gold leaf on the side plates for those who want a true statement piece in their room. So that's some of the main updates that are in the brand new Phantom Ultimate lineup. But I also want to go over the technology and proprietary engineering that have made DVLA products sound just as good as they look. Now, some of this is going to get a bit technical, so I'll briefly touch on each feature. But if you do want to dive deeper into all of this tech, we have a super in-depth article at audioadvice.com that I will link down below. And if you want to just find out how they sound and work and compare to the older Phantoms, you can just follow the chapters in this video and go ahead and skip this next section. First, at the heart of every Phantom is ADH amplification or analog digital hybrid. It combines the musicality of a pure Class A amplifier with the efficiency and current delivery of multiple Class D stages. The Class A section defines the voltage and sets the character of the sound, while that Class D stage follows in real time to supply current without strain. Now, in the Phantom Ultimate, the control algorithms between the two have been improved, especially above 3 kilohertz, where earlier designs could add a hint of hardness to it. Now, the second major technology is speaker active matching or SAM. This tracks driver motion in real time without latency and then corrects the amplifier's output so that the drivers follow the input signal as closely as possible. This updated version works with the redesigned woofers in the 108 dB model to extend deeper with much less distortion. The result is bass that holds pitch better on long notes and stops more abruptly on drum hits or plucked strings, making rhythms feel tighter and just a bit more lifelike. Now next is heart bass implosion or HBI, which is another signature phantom technology. Opposing high excursion woofers move in perfect symmetry to generate extreme air pressure inside this small cabinet. In the 108 dB model, that means bass dives as low as 14 hertz. It's the kind of infra bass that you not only hear, but you also just sort of feel in your chest, which is why a pair of phantoms can really seem like they're actually hiding a compact subwoofer in the room when you're using them. Now, the new lineup also adds adaptive volume level, or AVL, which was first seen in the Dion soundbar. AVL automatically adjusts volume in real time based on the content that 
that you're watching. Now, we found this most useful during movies where it keeps the dialogue clear without losing that big impact from big explosions. It's also one of those background features that makes using these Phantoms with your TV just much more enjoyable. Now, under the hood, the Phantom Ultimates run on a new faster, updated processor platform. They support AirPlay, Google Cast, Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, UPnP, and are room ready, all on the unified DOS3 operating system from DVLA. We found that linking two of these Phantoms for stereo is almost instant, and firmware updates now install smoothly right in the background with no hiccups. Now finally, their power supply design has been reworked to feed the amplification stages more efficiently and with better thermal stability, so that they can sustain higher volumes for longer sessions without the soft compression some owners may have noticed in some earlier generations. In addition, Bluetooth has been upgraded from version 4.2 on the Phantom 1 to 5.3, which is a really good update, although we would recommend using Wi-Fi for higher quality. The 98 dB runs on Wi-Fi 5, while the 108 steps up to Wi-Fi 6. So for the most stable performance, you can plug in via the Ethernet port on the back, which again, we do recommend. And when you link two Phantoms, they lock together over the DVLA DOS3 sync at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, keeping stereo imaging solid across a wide room. And for TV use, there's no HDMI eARC, but there is optical. So we set our TV output to PCM stereo and ran the optical to one of the Phantoms, which was paired with another for stereo use, and it just worked really well. Now, if you do own other DVLA products, like the Mania portable speaker or that Dion soundbar that I mentioned earlier, you can still group them with the Phantoms in multi-room playback using AirPlay 2 or a room. This will be great for spreading music across your entire house, but it doesn't use that same loss stereo link if you're just pairing two phantoms together to get a higher quality sound. Now, the phantoms do give you the most precise sound stage when they're paired with each other, so the Mania and Dion will remain complementary options for different spaces and different use cases. Okay, next, let's discuss the app. It offers several useful features, including four main listening modes that are pretty self-explanatory. There's music mode, movie mode, podcast mode, and then there's a monitoring mode, which is flat and disables dynamic sweeteners, which is handy if you want to create your own EQ curve from scratch. There's also night mode, which can be added on top of any main mode and applies a coordinated version of bass reducer plus adaptive volume level, so late night viewing doesn't wake your house up. Now, there's also a six band graphic EQ with presets for default, soft, clear, and dynamic, plus a full custom option across each band. It also pushes firmware updates directly to the speakers, which again means Phantom Ultimate speakers can get better with time. Now, the new 98dB does have some meaningful updates of its own, but again, the real story here is this 108 dB. A single unit can comfortably fill a pretty big living room, and a stereo pair just transforms into a front stage that rivals full-size systems. The bass, of course, digs super deep and is what DVLA is known for, but it's at the top end and the overall composure that really set it apart when you push the volume. On Dua Lipa's Don't Start Now, the bass line stayed elastic without losing grip, and the hi-hat remained crisp even as the chorus stacked up. And then when you switch to orchestral recordings, the hall air feels more obvious, with layers of detail holding together where past models might have sound a little more blurred. Movies with a pair of 108 dB units were even more convincing than expected. The front stage was super tall and wide and held together off axis, making it easy to cover a really big area. The opening of Blade Runner 2049 landed with the kind of chest impact that felt almost like having a compact sub in your room while still keeping enough articulation to follow subtle environmental effects. If you're coming from a soundbar, it doesn't matter which version, the 98 or the 108 dB, the stereo imaging and sale will absolutely embarrass your soundbar. And if you already own powered bookshelf speakers, the sheer authority of the low end in the 108 dB will definitely surprise you. Now, if you already have a Phantom 1 108 dB and you do enjoy listening at higher levels, I would say that the new 108 dB is gonna be the most meaningful upgrade here. If you own a Phantom 1 103 dB, the new 98 dB is not a direct replacement in terms of sheer headroom. However, if you get two 98 dB units in stereo, it will open up your sound way more with more refined and more coherent than a single 103 dB, even if the older model still has that more raw power. And if you own a Phantom 2 and use it in a small room at modest levels, I would say you don't need to rush to upgrade here. The new 98 dB is more refined, but the older Phantom 2 still sounds pretty dang good. If you're in a medium room or find yourself hitting limits of a single unit, stepping up to a stereo pair of the 98 dB models will make more sense here. Now, DVLA does also offer custom stands and mounts to make the Phantoms feel more intentional in your space. They have a full-size tree stand that lifts the speakers to the ideal listening height and gives them extra stability. And the compact tree pod is one that I really love. It's like a 
tripod style option that will work well in smaller rooms and give your speaker a lot of stability. And the Gecko is their wall mount that lets the speakers float off the wall while still giving them enough room to breathe. Okay, so we were pretty impressed with the new Ultimate version of the Phantoms. However, if we are gonna nitpick, which we always try to do, we would have loved a simple automatic room correction feature for a single unit or when they're in stereo pair, similar to what the Dion soundbar has. We also wish DVLA had taken integration a step further. Imagine if the Phantom Ultimate models could serve as wireless rear speakers for your Dion, or if you could build a full Phantom front stage with a left, right, and center Phantom speaker, that would have been just an incredible feature. Now, we will say it's technically possible to build a full home theater with Phantoms over Dante, but that does require extra setup and networking gear. But a native wireless option would have made the experience far simpler and way more compelling to a lot of people. Along the same lines, while the Phantoms already do dig really deep enough that most listeners aren't going to miss a subwoofer, it would have been really exciting to see a dedicated sub out or even a matching wireless sub from DVLA themselves in the future. That kind of expansion would make the Phantom Ultimates a really interesting option for a true all-in-one high-end wireless home theater. All right, now I went over a lot in this video and I really hope it's been helpful for you. But if you are ready to order yours right now, you can be among the very first to receive your new models when you order from audioadvice.com. I'll leave links down below. You also help us in creating more exclusive content just like this. And if you do have more questions that I didn't answer in this video, check out our article at audioadvice.com. Again, I'll link down below where you can always chat or call with one of our experts or stop by one of our world-class showrooms and we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.